in this episode. Kiss and bait. Bowling Cup of the Wastes. No weapons needed. You're the target now. It's not the easiest jobs to be bait. It doesn't have to be the happiest of endings, even if somebody falls for it. But damn us if Fugly Pump isn't the best bait we've seen out there. He managed to lure not one, but two enemies, leading them right into the small minefield. The first attack had lost their wheels, and the second car was just vaporized. If somebody says you're helpless if you got no wheels and no weapons, just show them this clip. A true survivor endures. Thank you for proving that, Fugly Pump. Here's your goal. Survivors are always coming up with new exciting ways to have quality time in the wastes. Sumo wrestling? A merry-go-round? Nah, mate, those are so yesterday. These days it's all about car bowling. Park a few cars at the end of the bridge. Those are our bowling pins. And run the hell out of them with a jet-powered bowling bar. Car. The more pins you knock down, the better. It's quick, it's bonkers, it's amazing. The only problem is that it takes uh, a while to set everything up for another go. Well, we're looking forward to the first official bowling cup of the wastes. And while we wait, let's give Xenon their well-deserved gold. Here's another neat trick requiring a functioning harpoon and apparently balls of steel. The survivor that goes by the name of Tormetus came up with this little move to deal with pesky attackers. It's simple. You just need to find a good bridge of the right height. Time your movement so that you hit the inner side of the arch with your harpoon just as you drive off the edge. Voila, you're on your enemy's six. Easy, effective, and looks extremely badass. What else might you want? Maybe some gold? 1,000 gold to be exact. Congratulations. <laughs> to destroy an enemy with just a cabin is already an epic feat. But what about two of them? That survivor managed to do just that. The first opponent didn't survive the impact, and the second didn't pay enough attention to his sneaky little cabin left behind his back, and paid dearly for his mistake. Never underestimate the power of the self-destruction. Be beautiful. Cosmo McNamara, sir, here's your well-earned reward. Keep up the good work, you mad lad, you. And now, it's time to pick the best comment of the past week. My mo, their cars are screaming. Deja vu, I just been in this place before. Please respond to your original comment with your in-game nickname and email address so we can send you your prize. Please be advised that the prize may take up to five business days to be added to your in-game account. Thank you for watching this episode. Okay, let's recap the three simple steps on how to submit your video to Crossout Shell. Step 1. Record and put together your video. Attention! The submitted video must be made by you, must be published for the first time, must have public access for viewers, and must not violate any copyright laws. Step 2. Subscribe to our YouTube channel and hit the like button below this video. Step 3. Upload your video to YouTube and send us a direct link to Crossout Show at Gaijin.ru. The covering email should contain the desired category for your video, your in-game nickname, and the email address registered with your game account, so we can send you the reward should your submission win. Every week, four submissions will win 1,000 gold. We will also be awarding the best comment of the week with 300 gold. So, get your engines revving, make some content, send it to us, or simply watch and comment. Either way, we've got plenty of gold to go around. See you in the week.